Now at 5:30, a former worker at this craft store in Ballantyne charged with peeping up a 17-year-old skirt. It's scary, actually. It's 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 frightening <laughs> to to even think that someone would even do that. The Channel 9 dug through records and found the same suspect was accused of the same crime about a decade ago. Police say it happened here inside the Michael store at Stonecrest. And reporter Tina Terry is there live. And Tina, you talked to the store manager about that suspect. Yes, I did. Police say that disturbing crime happened right here inside of this Michael's Arts and Crafts store in Valentine. Today, the manager told me they had no idea about the suspect's past peeping charge when they hired him. It's horrible. Customers at this Michael's and the Stonecrest Shopping Center disgusted by the accusations against this former employee. It's frightening <laughs> to to even think that someone would even do that. Last night, police arrested and charged Andrew McKenzie with felony secret peeping. Back in June, someone told police McKenzie used a camera to take pictures under a 17 year old girl's dress without her knowledge. And today we found this old mug shot from all the way back in 2010. Police charged McKenzie with felony peeping after an incident at the Target store in Midtown. Security said they witnessed him on camera with a cell phone on his tennis shoe, pointing his foot up women's dresses in the women's clothing section. I think that's disgusting. On the phone today, a Michael store manager told me they were unaware of that past charge when they hired McKenzie and said he no longer works at the store. For shoppers, it's just one more reminder to watch your surroundings. If I have a daughter that just started a &T, and I'm calling her every night, make sure you're paying attention. Yeah, police had no further information for us on this case. We also reached out to the store's corporate headquarters. We're still waiting on a comment from them tonight. Back to you guys. All right, everyone has to be aware and vigilant. Thank you, Tina. Now, we did look into that first charge, and the records show that McKenzie entered a guilty plea to misdemeanor secret peeping in 2011 and was put on probation. He did not serve any time behind bars.